Welcome to PBS 39's Scholastic Scrimmage. Scholastic Scrimmage is brought to you by the members of PBS 39 and by... Scholastic Scrimmage is sponsored by St. Luke's University Health Network, the region's leading provider of medical education. For more than 100 years, St. Luke's has been dedicated to educating physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals. To learn more, call St. Luke's InfoLink, toll free at 866-ST-LUKES, or visit sluhn.org. Support for PBS 39's educational programming is provided by the Deluxe Corporation Foundation. Proud to support quality programming on PBS 39. Scholarships provided by the Air Products Foundation. And now, here's your host, Joe Pacetti. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another contest on PBS 39's Scholastic Scrimmage. I'm your host, Joe Pacetti. I'm one of those people that appreciates a good list. Those are people, right? Anyway, one of my favorite pastimes is culling through the bevy of books that inspire some of my favorite artists. David Bowie, a man that requires more than a mere mortal such as myself for an adequate introduction, had a particularly interesting reading list. Bowie was obsessed with the routines and wisdom of writers, and here are just a few selections that illuminate in small part his own creative genius for composing and performing. The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde by Juno Diaz. White Noise by Don DeLillo, a demigod like Bowie. A People's History of the United States by Howard Zinn. A Confederacy of Dunces by John Kennedy Toole. In Cold Blood by Truman Capote, The Fire Next Time by James Baldwin, and 1984 by George Orwell. There's a great deal of joy in understanding what inspired those that inspire you. And today, we're going to find out a bit about what inspires these competitors on stage. Let's meet the Moravian Academy Lions and the Bethlehem Catholic Hawks, starting over here with Moravian. My name is Carson Denner, and I'm a junior. My name's Alex Adams, I'm a sophomore. My name is Neo Zimbas, and I'm a senior. I'm Ria Malhotra, I'm a sophomore. Moravian's coach is Val Chili. <laughs> now the team from Becca. I'm Garrett Farrell and I'm a senior. I'm Sean Huff and I'm a senior. I'm Brendan Smith and I'm a senior. I'm Bobby Henry and I'm a junior. Becca's coaches are Robert Schiller and Jim Asbury. Our judges for today's contest are Sally Campbell, Gary DeLeo, and Kathleen Steele. To our audience, this contest requires rapid recall of facts and favors, the resolute. Performances on this stage are not necessarily reflective of these students' academic experiences. At the end of the season, the two final teams will win scholarships for their schools from the Air Products Foundation. And remember, it's always easier to be an armchair quiz master than a competitor in this arena. We understand the rules, so let's begin the contest with a toss-up. What justice, who was succeeded on the Supreme Court by Samuel Alito, was appointed by the court by Ronald Reagan in 1981 as the first female justice? Becca. Sandra Day O'Connor. That is correct, and your bonus pencil and paper ready. What is the smallest two-digit prime number? Sean. 11. 11 is correct. Toss-up. What conic section, the set of all points equidistant from a directrix and a focal point, is generated by the equation y equals x squared? Becca. A parabola. Parabola is correct. And your bonus. The Donatist Schism began on what continent where St. Augustine's Sea of Hippo Regis was located? Africa. Sean. Africa. Africa is correct. Toss-up. A Percy Shelley poem about Leon and Sitha is titled The Revolt of Which Religion, whose texts include the Hadith and the Surah comprised the Quran? Becca. Uh, Islam. Islam is correct, and your bonus. What country's possessions include the Ellesmere Island and its largest island, Baffin Island? Canada. Uh, no, Canada. Canada. Sean? Canada. Canada is correct. Toss-up. What concept, whose interpretation titles a 1973 essay collection by Clifford Gertz, refers to a society's sets of norms and traditions? That would be culture or cultures. The interpretation of cultures was the full title. Toss-up. What NBA team, which signed Harrison Barnes in the 2016 offseason, won its only title in 2011 when it was led by German forward Dirk Nowitzki? Moravia. Ma the Mavericks. Dallas Mavericks, that is correct. And your bonus. Cathode rays consist of what particle that has a charge of negative 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 columns? Neil. Electrons. Electrons is correct. 
Toss-up. What compound whose concentrated form is called glacial is produced by the cativa of Monsanto processes and is the active component of vinegar? Moravian. Acetic acid. Acetic acid is correct. And your bonus. What river that rises in the Carpathian Mountains flows past Krakow, empties into the Baltic Sea, and roughly bisects Poland? Neil. Odor. That is incorrect. We're looking for Vistula. Vistula River. Toss up. What victorious general at the Battle of Boyaca was the first president of the Gran Colombia and, after fighting the Spanish, was nicknamed Becca? Simon Bolivar. That is correct. And your bonus. Bobby Sands, who died in a 1981 hunger strike, was a member of what paramilitary group which sought to end British rule over Northern Ireland? Sean. IRA. IRA is correct. Toss up. What state home to Mount Kakizu, uh, I'm sorry, Kushuko, borders Victoria to its south, is the most populous Australian state and contains the city of Sydney? Moravian. New South Wales. New South Wales is correct, and your bonus. Five people die in the 1714 collapse of the title fictitious Peruvian structure in what novel by Thornton Wilder? Neil? Bridge. Can you expand on that? Um, drawbridge. It is not a drawbridge. It is a bridge. It is the bridge of the bridge of San Luis Rey. The bridge of San Luis Rey. Toss up. What video game series, whose original trilogy featured such characters as Garrus and Tally, is set in space and has a 2017 entry? Becca. Metroid. That is incorrect. I'll finish the question for Moravian. What video game series whose original trilogy featured such characters as Garrus and Tally is set in space and has a 2017 entry subtitled Andromeda? Mass Effect. That is correct. Mass Effect is correct. And your bonus. What actress claimed Chicago's murder rate was, quote, over 80% while playing former White House press secretary Sean Spicer on Saturday Night Live? Neil. Melissa McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy is correct. I wish my podium did that. <laughs> Toss up. What author wrote about Philip Wakem's, Wakem's secret meetings with Margaret Tulliver in The Mill on the Floss and created Dorothea Brooke in Middlemarch? George Eliot. George Eliot was the correct response. Toss up. What composer of the ballet Jou and a three movement set of nocturnes also wrote La Mer and the Suite Bergamesque, which includes Claire de Lune? Moravian. Debussy. That is correct, and your bonus. What governor of Illinois was the Democratic presidential nominee in 1952 and 1956, losing both elections to Dwight Eisenhower? We're looking for Adlai Stevenson. Stevenson. Our next question is a video question. Your attention to the monitor, please. Satchmo and Pops were nicknames of what jazz trumpeter who recorded the song Heebie Jeebies? Becca. Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong is correct. And your bonus, what leader who included a large fiscal stimulus as one of his three arrows of his namesake economics is the current prime minister of Japan? Shinzo Abe. Sean. Shinzo Abe. Shinzo Abe is correct. Toss up. Which force is described by the theory of quantum chromodynamics? It is mediated by gluons, binds protons and neutrons. It is named for its large power. Becca. The strong nuclear force? That is correct. And your bonus. Stephen Dedalus decides to leave Ireland so that he can try to forge the uncreated conscience of his race in what coming of age novel by James Joyce? Ulysses. Sure. Ulysses is incorrect. It's Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man. Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man. Lightning round! At the beginning of our contest, we did a coin toss to determine who would be going first. The winner of that coin toss was Moravian. So Moravian, I will give you two categories. You'll select one of those categories. The one you do not uh, select will go to Becca. Your two categories are war presidents or Shakespearean characters. Uh, war presidents. 
more presidents. Very good. Okay. So you'll have one minute, and during that one minute, anybody can ring in. No conferring. Given a war named the U.S. president in power when American involvement began. World War II. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Correct. War of 1812. James Madison. Correct. Mexican-American War. James K. Polk. Correct. Arustuk War. Pass. World War One. Woodrow Wilson. Bosnian War. Um, Clinton. That's correct. Spanish-American War. Um. William. Can you expand? Um. McKinley. Correct. Korean War. Eisenhower. Incorrect. Operation Odyssey Dawn. Reagan. Incorrect. And that brings us to the end of that lightning round. Obama. Barack Obama was the last response there. So. Becca, that's going to leave us with Shakespearean characters. Okay, you'll tell me uh, in which play by William Shakespeare do these characters appear. One minute, no conferring. Mercutio. Romeo and Juliet. Correct. Desdemona. Othello. Correct. Jessica. Pass. Beatrice and Benedict. Pass. Rosalind. Uh, as you like it. Correct. Claudius and Gertrude. Pass. Cordelia. Uh, King Lear. Correct. John of Gaunt. Henry V. Incorrect. Caliban. The Tempest. Correct. Marcus Brutus and the Poet and Cinna. Julius Caesar. That is correct. And that is all the questions. Richard II, by the way, was John of Gaunt. It was one of the kings in one of the plays that he wrote with money, uh, one of the many numbers. So that is the end of our first lightning round. It's going back to the toss-ups. What god owned a weapon forged by Brocker and Eitri that always returned to his hand? Becca. Thor. Thor is correct, and your bonus. The, what, relative list, I'm sorry, what relativistic process decreases the rate at which a moving clock ticks? Uh, time reaching the speed of light. No, uh, time, no, time, dilation. Time, dilation. time dilation. Time dilation is correct. Toss up. What senator who hired Stephen Miller as his communications director while representing Alabama was confirmed in early 2017 as U.S. Attorney General? Becca. Jeff Sessions. Jeff Sessions is correct. And your bonus. The 2015 Supreme Court decision, Obergefell versus Hodges, guaranteed the right to what practice? Gay marriage. Sean. Uh, homosexual marriage. Yes, or gay marriage or same-sex marriage. Okay. We have accepted either of those. Toss up. What author of the majority opinion of Gibbons v. Ogden also presided over the treason trial of Aaron Burr after being named Chief Justice in 1801? Becca. John Marshall. John Marshall is correct. Your bonus. What Macedonian king won the Battle of Char I'm sorry, Charonia two years before he was assassinated in 336 Philip, Philip II. BC? Philip II. Philip II. Philip II is correct. Toss up. What type of star can live more than a trillion years is exemplified by Barnard's star and Proxima Centauri, and is more... Becca. Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf is correct, and your bonus. The Vickers test is one test for what property that is measured on the Mohs scale? No, it's me. Yeah. Oh, confirm. Hardness. Hardness. Sure. Yes, hardness is correct. Hardness <laughs> is correct. Very excited, that's good. Toss up, what river on which the Bonneville Dam lies flows into the Pacific Ocean after forming much of the broader, oh, I'm sorry, much of the border between Washington and Oregon? Moravian. Columbia. Columbia River is correct, and your bonus. What occupation is shared by Escamillo, who loves Carmen in George Bizet's opera, and Pedro Romero in The Sun Also Rises? It would be Bullfighter, one of Ernest Hemingway's favorite occupations to write about. That's going to bring us to the half. The score at the half is Becca High, 245, Moravian, 125. Let's have a hand for our teams. 
At the break during each show, we'd like to take an opportunity to get to know more about our competitors. This week, we're going to find out what person, past or present, each of our contenders on stage would have dinner with and why. We'll start with Moravian. And mind you, uh, Guy Theory is not an appropriate response here. Uh, I'd like to eat dinner with Pele, soccer player. You know? yeah. Uh, probably Donald Trump, because he's the president, you know. I'd like to eat dinner with Mr. Lottie, uh, a teacher at my school. I'd probably want to eat dinner with Albert Einstein. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Thank you, Meridian. Over here to Becca. Uh, well, I'd like to have dinner with Isaac Newton, because I really need help on my math homework. Uh, Bill James, the creator of advanced metrics for baseball. Mark Twain, because he's one of my favorite authors. Robert Lewandowski, because history will remember him as world's greatest soccer player. <laughs> Outstanding. The confidence with which you said that is just remarkable. I, no problem. Please, take the compliment. All right. Very good, guys. Thank you so much. We'll go back to our toss-ups. Salvador Dali added drawers to a recreation of what work? A marble sculpture found on an island in the Cyclades of a goddess now missing its arms. Becca. Birth of Venus. That is incorrect. We will go over to Moravian. Randy. Aphrodite. Incorrect. We were looking for specifically Venus de Milo. So not the actual work, but the actual goddess herself. Okay, Venus de Milo. Toss up. What person who ran the office of missing soldiers was called the angel of the battlefield as a Civil War nurse and founded the American Red Cross? Becca. Clara Barton. Clara Barton is correct. Also the easiest parkway to drive on in Virginia. Your bonus, a completely filled outer S subshell, is characteristic of what periodic table group of metals that includes strontium, radium, and beryllium? Uh, halogen? No. No. Oh, yeah. it's, it's uh, alkali. Alkali. Alkali, yeah. Sean. Alkaline metals. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. We're looking for alkaline earth metals, specifically. Alkaline earth metals. Toss up. What novella in which Carlson kills a dog that belongs to Candy while George Milton has to kill his friend Lenny was written by John Steinbeck? Becca. Of Mice and Men. Of Mice and Men it is. And your bonus. What Arab nationalist movement names the political parties of both Saddam Hussein and Bashar al-Assad? Uh, Bathism. Okay. Sean. Bathism. Yes, that is correct. Toss up. What infectious myco mycobacterial disease is prevented by the BCG vaccine, is screened for by a PPD skin test, and was once called consumption? Becca. Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is correct, and your bonus. In Greek mythology, what three female monsters petrified anyone who saw them? Sean. The Gorgons. Gorgons is correct. Toss up. What opera, which opens with men playing a game of craps and singing Roll Them Bones, features the aria Summertime and is by George Gershwin? It would be Porgy and Bess is what we were looking for there. Toss up. What woman, whose sister Mutt Ben Ray may have been the daughter of I, was the consort of Akhenaten and is the subject of an acclaimed bust. Becca. Nefertiti. Nefertiti is correct. And your bonus. A woman walks a monkey on a leash in what 1884 pointless painting by Georges Seurat held in the Art Institute of Chicago? Uh, so again, just say Nighthawks. Okay. Not Nighthawks, yes. Yes. Sean. Nighthawks. He was right, it is not Nighthawks. <laughs> 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 the correct response was Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jean. So definitely not Nighthawks. Definitely not Nighthawks. Toss up. What group who remixed their second album using cat sounds recorded the songs Talk To Me and Legend Has It and is composed of LP and Killer Mike? Becca. The Wu-Tang Clan? That is incorrect. Goes over to Moravian. The correct response was run the jewels, and don't insult Wu-Tang like that. <laughs> Toss up. What city, home to the posh upscale district of Gangnam, was formerly the capital of, Chosun, of the Chosun dynasty and is the capital of South Korea? Becca. Seoul. Seoul is correct. And your bonus. 
What shield volcano on Mars is the tallest mountain on any planet in this system? Olympus Mons. Yeah. Sean. Olympus Mons. Olympus Mons is correct. Lightning round! So for our second lightning round, Becca, you will have the opportunity to choose the first category for this one. Same rules apply. We have Islands and Mister. Islands. Yeah, Islands. Islands. A very pragmatic choice. Okay. So same rules apply. One minute, anyone can buzz in. No conferring. Name the nation that controls these islands. Luzon. Pass. Greenland. The Netherlands. Incorrect. Crete. Greece. Correct. Macau. China. Correct. Zanzibar. Tanzania. Correct. Easter Island. The United Kingdom. Incorrect. Sulawesi. Pass. Hokkaido. Pass. Isle of Wight. The United Kingdom. Correct. Réunion. Pass. That's all of them. Okay. France was the last one for Réunion. So that leaves us with Mr. for Moravian. Same rules apply. One minute, no conferring. Anyone can buzz in. Give these figures who go by names that include the word Mr. Alter ego of Henry Jekyll. Mr. Hyde. Correct. Love interest of Jane Eyre. Mr. Darcy. Incorrect. Host of a children's TV series set in this neighborhood. Mr. Herman. Incorrect. Fawn who greets the Pevensies in Narnia. Pass. Jimmy Stewart title character who goes to Washington. Pass. Hasbro toy created by George Lerner with interchangeable facial features. Mr. Potato Head. Correct. Demonically named feline in T.S. Eliot's Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats. Mr. Boots. Incorrect. Musician in a Bob Dylan song who is told, play a song for me. Pass. Mascot of Planters. Mr. Peanut. Correct. Talking horse of a 1950s sitcom. Pass. Be Mr. Ed is the last one. Okay, and Mr. Mephistopheles, not Mr. Boots. Doesn't sound as evil as Mephistopheles. That's okay, though. All right, that is our second lightning round. Let's go back to toss-ups. What modern-day country was the location of the Holomodor famine and the Orange Revolution prior to Russia annexing its Crimea territory? Becca. Ukraine. Ukraine is correct, and your bonus. What work, which describes a legendary ring of invisibility belonging to Gyges in its second book, is a platonic dialogue about the ideal city? Utopia. Sure. Yeah. Utopia. Sean. Utopia. It is incorrect. The Republic. Plato's The Republic. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Toss up. What, what novel in which a Scotland Yard detective named Fix chases the suspected bank robber Phileas Fogg across the globe? Around the world in 80 days. That is correct. Around the world in 80 days. By Jules Verne and your bonus. John Willoughby decides to marry a wealthy heiress instead of Marianne Dashwood in what novel by Jane Austen? Um, good thing you know that. Emma. Sean. Emma. Sense and Sensibility is the correct response. But that is indeed a novel by her. <laughs> Toss up. What is the meaning of the Russian verb liobit and the, the French verb amer, the latter of which is a cognate of the English words amateur and amorous? Moravian, to love is correct. And your bonus, what French king converted to Catholicism in 1593 and ordered the Edict of Nantes, which gave many rights to the Huguenots? King Charles. King Charles. Charles is incorrect. We're looking for Henry IV. Henry IV was the correct response. Toss up, pencil and paper ready. If Jane rolls a six-sided die and flips a coin, what is the probability of getting both a five on the die and heads on the coin? Becca. One twelfth. One twelfth is correct, and your bonus. Pencil and paper ready. What integer equals the cosine of zero degrees? Sean. One. One is correct. Toss-up. What country, ruled by Tamim Al Thani, had its diplomatic relations cut off by a Saudi Arabia-led group of countries and will host the 2022 World Cup. Cutter. Cutter. Cutter is correct. And your bonus. In Victor Hugo's The Hunchback of Notre Dame, what is the title character Quasimodo's occupation? Bell ringer. 
Sean. Bell ringer. Bell ringer. Crazy lucrative bell ringer. <laughs> and your toss-up. In the Old Testament, what second son of Adam and Eve sacrificed a firstborn lamb? Becca. Abel. Abel is correct. And your bonus, Joseph Hooker attempted to capture the Dunker Church during what 1862 battle, the bloodiest single-day battle in U.S. history? Antietam. Antietam. Sean. Antietam. Antietam is correct. Toss-up. What Greek letter names insulin-producing cells, radiation in the form of positrons or electrons, and the second brightest star in a constellation? Becca. Gamma. That is incorrect. It goes over to Moravian. Beta. Beta is correct. And your bonus. What is the sum of the interior angles of a convex quadrilateral? Go ahead, Neil. 360 degrees is correct. Toss-up. What critic of the constitutions of Clarendon was called a meddlesome priest before being killed in Canterbury Cathedral at the behest of Henry II? Becca. Beckett. Beckett is correct. And your bonus. The former French colony of Ubangi Shari is now what African country whose capital is Bangui? Bobby. Uh, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Sure. Sean. Democratic Republic of the Congo. It is incorrect. Central African Republic or CAR is what we're looking for. And the other one. Toss up. What author whose poems include ones beginning, I'm nobody, who are you, and success is counted sweetest, wrote, Because I could not stop for death? Moravian. Robert Frost. Incorrect. Question goes over to Becca. Go ahead. Dickinson? Dickinson. Emily Dickinson is correct. Your bonus. Siad Barra was, the, was a leader of what African country, whose capital was the site of a 1993 battle in which several Black Hawk helicopters were shot down? Somalia. 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 Sean. Somalia. Somalia is correct. Toss-up. What process, whose fractional form can be done on substances that, that follow Rayl's law, separates a mixture of liquids based on their boiling points? Moravian. Civilization. That is incorrect. We will bounce it over to Becca. Becca. Distillation. Distillation is correct. And just a reminder, on toss-ups, do not confer, OK? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was, That's uh, an apology accepted. I just be sure that I accept it this time. And your bonus, both Gerald Ford and Nelson Rockefeller were appointed vice president under the provisions of what constitutional amendment adopted in 1967? 25th. Sure, that makes sense. 25th. Definitely. Sean. 25th. 25th is correct. Toss-up. What captain of the HMS Resolution was the first person to circumnavigate New Zealand and was killed while trying to kidnap a Hawaiian chief? Moravian. Cook. Cook is correct. And your bonus. What planet is destroyed to make room for a hyperspatial express route at the beginning of Douglas Adams' The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Earth. Neil, yeah, Earth is correct. Earth is correct. That is going to bring us to the end of our contest. Their final score is Becca High, 470, Moravian, 190. Let's have a hand for our teams. <laughs> Congratulations to Becca High. It's always a pleasure to watch the best and the brightest showcase their immense talents. And we wish, uh, we wish I'm sorry, Moravian, the best of luck in their academic endeavors. On behalf of Scholastic Scrimmage and PBS 39, thank you for your continued support and viewership. Though they may be, at times, teams of rivals, one truth remains, you can't beat brains. Scholastic Scrimmage is brought to you by the members of PBS 39 and by Scholastic Scrimmage is sponsored by St. Luke's University Health Network, the region's leading provider of medical education. For more than 100 years, St. Luke's has been dedicated to educating physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals. To learn more, call St. Luke's InfoLink, toll free at 866-ST-LUKES, or visit sluhn.org. Support for PBS 39's educational programming is provided by the Deluxe Corporation Foundation. Proud to support quality programming on PBS 39. This program is recorded at the PPL Public Media Center at PBS 39 in Bethlehem.